Today we're going to take a blood pressure and we have some equipment for that. This is a stethoscope that comes equipped with a drum to listen to both adult and pediatric patients. Also, we want to ensure that the earbuds are facing front to line up with the ear canal. Next we have our blood pressure cuff with a bladder to blow up and then our sphygmomanometer which will gauge our blood pressure reading. All right, and now we will begin the process of taking our patient's blood pressure. So what you're, we're gonna do with the cuff is we are going to take the patient's arm and we want this artery label to be right above the artery that sort of runs right here. So we're going to set in the, in the middle and we want it to be snug enough so that when he lowers his arm, it's not gonna slide down. Now there are different sizes of blood pressure cuffs. This is, we have a very normal sized patient, so this is a regular sized cuff. If we had a pediatric patient, we would use a pediatric cuff, or if there was a larger patient, there are large and extra large cuffs. All right, so now we are going to, you can attempt to find a pulse from his artery, but if you're struggling, there's an artery that runs right here, one that runs right here. So we're just going to put the drum of our stethoscope right in this area. All right. We're gonna pump up our stethoscope. Take a blood pressure reading and let the air out. Now, what we're looking for while taking a blood pressure is we will pump our sphygmomanometer up into, for a normal healthy patient, around 160, between 30 and 50 um, above where his normal blood pressure is, and then we slowly let it out. The first beat we hear will be our top number, and the last beat we'll hear will be our bottom number. Then we're gonna remove our cuff and thank our patient.